Tonight, a mother is speaking out after her son drowned in South Haven. And in a rare case in Van Buren County Court, the city was denied governmental immunity in a lawsuit they're now facing. News Channel 3's Carter Landis spoke with the mother. Carter, she's telling you that she's feeling optimistic tonight. Yeah, that's right, Autumn. She is 18-year-old Brandon Chambers drowned at North Beach in South Haven in September of 2020. Crystal LaDuke, Brandon's mother, is suing the city. She hopes this suit will invoke real change and no family will have to go through, excuse me, what her family has gone through ever again. It's senseless. Crystal LaDuke is the mother of 18-year-old Brandon Chambers who drowned in South Haven nearly four years ago. She is currently in a lawsuit against the city of South Haven. Oftentimes, these cases are thrown out because the suing party cannot prove gross negligence. But a Van Buren County court denied the city's motion for governmental immunity, sending the case to an evidentiary pretrial. LaDuke spoke with News Channel 3 about how she was feeling when that ruling was passed down. Read the, the email from my attorney and I almost fell to my knees. It started fighting back tears of joy and my body was shaking. It was, it was pretty intense. LaDuke calling her son's death avoidable. South Haven has a flag system implemented, placing different colored flags on the beaches depending on the safety of the water. She says if there were lifeguards on duty, her son would still be here today. It's unfortunate that we have to go through this process to try to make that happen. I would have liked to see it done without having to get to this point. LaDuke and her family are hoping this case can set a precedent, potentially forcing other cities and municipalities with beaches to strengthen their safety measures. We never thought we'd make it past this point. So if we can get past that, then that's a huge win in trying to stir up some change. Hoping no family ever has to go through what her family has gone through again. Too many people already have since and before, and, and it's senseless, and it's so very... Very horrific. LaDuke says she and her family are feeling optimistic heading into the evidentiary pretrial. We're, we kind of made a win as far as we're concerned, and we're just kind of waiting and holding on to that hope that it's going to stay. And um, it can be grueling, but I think at this point, like I said, we're, we're hanging on that win. So We reached out to the city of South Haven, but they do not comment on pending litigation. The evidentiary pretrial still does not have a set date. Once we find out when that is, we'll be sure to update you on air and online on WWMT.com. Live in studio, Carter Landis, News Channel 3.